my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Leo plus Pisces love reading for April 2024. We are looking into feelings for each other, future actions, ending oracle, and advice for any of my Leos who are connecting to, interested in, and or curious about a Pisces. So let's get started into it with the feelings for each other. Now, some of you, this reading may resonate backwards, reverse, flipped to you, Leos, and possible Pisces cross watchers. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and let's look into the feelings. Leo, on your side, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the High Priestess. Pisces feelings for you are the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's start off with you, Leo. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the High Priestess. It very much looks like you have given up on this, Pisces. I feel like you are very withdrawn. I feel like you are turning your back on this individual. I feel like any sort of hope you had for this connection to be anything has gone out the window. And your energy definitely looks like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of contemplating. You're tired of thinking about this person. And you're just kind of like, I got to go. I got to place my energy elsewhere. And I feel like you are extremely, extremely withdrawn. You are not telling this person anything per se, or you're keeping a lot to yourself at this moment. Some of you may have also even like taken this person off social media. Um, some of you just don't want to see anything that they're doing, or maybe you don't want them to see things you're doing. Um, but you look extremely pulled back, Leo. Pisces feelings for you are the seven of cups, the two of swords and the 10 of wands. So Pisces looks like they were confused a bit for about this connection for a while up in the air, maybe didn't really know what they want, really didn't know how to open up their heart. It does look like Pisces is very much so giving up on the connection as well with the Ten of Wands. They feel like the confusion's too much. Um, the uncertainty is too much. Pisces has been very up in the air about this situation for a while, it seems. And with the Ten of Wands, they are deciding to no longer think about it and no longer feel about anything. So it looks like there is like a mutual sense of dif distance between the two of you or a mutual decision to separate or something like that. Whether it was even talked about or not, it definitely looks like your energies are both to yourself. But let's see what we have in the future actions towards each other. Spirit, please show me Leo's future actions towards Pisces. And what will be Pisces' future actions towards Leo? All right, Leo, your future actions are the devil, the judgment card, and the page of cups. Pisces' future actions towards you are the wheel of fortune, the page of wands, and the four of pentacles. All right, so some of you Leos may actually decide to change your mind, actually. Some of you may have a slight attachment issue to this Pisces. Um, I feel like some of you may decide to change your mind and open up to this person, maybe just as a friend with the page of cups. Um, they have the world, the page of wands and the four of pentacles. So I feel like Pisces is open to starting over or to maybe being civil or being friends with you. But with the four of pentacles here, it doesn't look like they want to be the one to open up first. I feel like they will respond back to you, but it doesn't really look like they want to be the one to open up first. Let's see the four of pentacles. So the four of swords, the six of cups and the queen of swords. Yeah, despite Despite Pisces still feeling slightly connected to you somehow, or like they definitely still care about you, they don't feel the need to initiate anything for some reason. You have the Page of Cups, why? The Ace of Swords, the Lovers, and the Empress. So I feel like some of you may change your mind here, Leo. I feel like some of you may have a turnaround or a little bit of a change of heart where you decide to initiate something with this Pisces. And see if you two can maybe just heal or be friends and or maybe restart. So that was a change. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you look like you're changing your mind. You look like you're like, actually, maybe I do want to see if something will happen with Pisces. Or maybe I do want to see if we could still be friends. They have the Queen of Swords to so the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like Pisces would be open to it as well. 
Um, but once again, I still feel like their energy is not in the position of wanting to be the initiator. But I feel like if you have that courage and bravery to come towards them and initiate a new cycle, I feel like they will definitely be open to it. But I don't see like them being open to being the initiator and or doing too much. I feel like they're they will mirror your offers and that's about it. But I don't get you saying like, hey, Pisces, how are you doing? And they're like, oh my gosh, Leo, I've been waiting to hear from you. I've been caring about you and missing you so much. No, I kind of just feel like they're like, hey, Leo, how are you? Like, I don't really get their energy being too over the top. I feel like they're very minimal level feeling out your possible initiation. And if some of you feel like, hell no, I will not initiate to Pisces, this could be backwards. And you may be surprised that a Pisces comes your way. So do take the way you feel like it resonates to you. Know yourself. You know, if you know for a fact, mm, I don't see myself having a change of heart, you're probably on the other side. You know, if you do feel like, oh, I do see myself having that change of heart towards them, then it possibly does resonate. But I definitely do feel like for a lot of you Leos connecting to a Pisces or curious about one, there is an attempt to restart this connection this month. And I definitely feel like it's coming from this energy. So where you at? Decide on that, you know? So let's see what we have in the Oracle here for Leo plus Pisces. Very straightforward reading. Leo, you have material world. You're very focused on your money. You're very focused on your career, business. They have forgiveness. So some of you, a Pisces is anticipating an apology from you, or they possibly feel the need to apologize. Let's see, you have crossroads. They have cycles. You have soulmate. They have action. You have reinvention. They have lessons. You have ascending. They have guide. Yeah, so I feel like Pisces is just waiting for you to take action towards them, literally. I feel like they're waiting for you to say something. It's because I feel like for some of you, if you feel like Pisces is the one that should apologize, I know this sounds weird, but it's almost like they feel like they want to wait for your initiation to offer an apology. They could feel like you don't feel like you want to talk to them or anything. You have balancing the scales. They have pride and ego. Yeah. So I feel like Pisces wants to engage with this or talk to you about something or do something with you, but they really are holding on to a lot of pride and ego. They feel like they shouldn't be the one to come your way. So I feel like they're going to wait out that action from you. Um, and you do have balancing the scales to ascending. So some of you may definitely decide to want to make things right with this person or just take action to see if you two could have some balance. But I definitely feel like something could have occurred here between the two of you. That caused this connection to be extremely distant from each other and extremely pulled back. So this is what we have as your advice. This is the artwork. And it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so the fact that y'all are getting this card, I feel like one or both of you are very materialistic and spirit wants you to know, you know, like... When you leave this world, you ain't going to take nothing with you, but the people that let you share the love with and those memories and those feelings, you know? So let's get one more card and you have this card and it says, only time will tell. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense with the way this reading came through. So that's what I have here for you, Leo plus Pisces. Thank you for being here If you're and watching. If you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. If Pisces is out, that means all of the other zodiac signs are already out. And Pisces will be the first sign that gets done in May. So we'll go backwards and then forwards each month. So next month of May, we will go in reverse zodiac order where Pisces will be the first Leo Plus that goes out and then so on. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I do have a Pisces channel as well. If you are interested in super cross-watching their energy, um, you can find that linked to your main page all the way on the homepage. Scroll all the way down and you'll see my two other channels, my Pisces channel and then my All Signs channel. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.